Carly and welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't uploaded a video in so long, so today's video is going to be me cleaning out my bookshelf. I haven't read in months, <laughs> honestly, it's been really sad. I haven't picked up a book at all, and that's just because I've been super, super busy with work, and I started school again last week, or two weeks ago, and so I've been doing that, like, every single day. So I'm just constantly, like, doing stuff, but hopefully soon life will uh, look up for me and I'll have more time to read and do stuff. So today's video is just going to be me like recleaning out my bookshelf just because there's probably some books in there that I don't want to read and if I want to get back to reading then I'll have these books on my shelf and they'll be books that I want to read kind of thing. So I rearranged my room so now I have my book shelf as my headboard. If you guys don't follow my Twitter I did post a video or not a video a picture of it and a lot of people loved it. Basically I don't get to the bottom half of my shelf but that's okay because the bottom half of my shelf is all books that I'm about to go get rid of and I'm taking them to this my to my bookstore that I get credit for whenever I purchase some more books so I'm thinking of maybe shopping for some new books that might make me want to read some more just because I think I'm kind of bored of the books that are on my shelf just because they've been on there for so long and basically it's just another bookshelf clean out so I will definitely be posting a haul probably sometime soon of the new books that I pick up it might be big but not might not be big I don't really know I will show you guys the books that I'm already planning on getting rid of that I've had on my get rid of shelf for a while and then we're gonna go through the back the rest of my bookshelf and we're gonna clean out the rest of that Okay, so I just grabbed all the books that I'm planning on getting rid of, and I've had these on the bottom of my shelf for like a couple months now because I have been doing a bunch of like reading videos for the past, past few months of books I was trying to read, like planning on reading, and just continuously buying books still, and I have like a bunch of books that I don't have room for on my shelf. So hopefully with this clean out, it'll make room for all those new books that I purchased. That one big haul like a couple months ago, that I have like an insane amount of views on, like 13,000 views, which is insane. I have a bunch of books of those that I need to put on my shelf, but I'm basically just gonna go through this pile quickly before we go into my bookshelf and just tell you the books that I'm getting rid of and I guess explaining why, or for some of them, and why I'm getting rid of them. First book I have, okay. First book I'm getting rid of is Fangirl by Rima Rao and I did a reading vlog with this and y'all were seeing my first impressions of reading this book and I fucking hated it. It was trash and it's disgusting and I no longer support Rainbow Row. I can't wait to get rid of that. Next is Diary of a Teenage Girl by Melody Carlson, whatever. I read it, it just felt like it was going to be like a three star book, it was an average book so I didn't waste my time for reading this. Next book is actually I bought it from the bookstore that I'm going to return all these to is You Know Me Well by Nina LaCour and David Levithan. I think I tried reading this or... It just kind of felt like another average kind of book or I've tried reading it and it was kind of confusing so I'm getting rid of that one. Next is The Outsiders. I guess I'm getting rid of The Outsiders. I think I wanted a better copy than this one because I think this is another reason why I didn't finish it. I didn't finish this book. I actually didn't it because it was when I was hitting my book slump so I wasn't finishing any of the books that I was reading. So I know the bookstore that I have and I'm going to has a bunch of different copies of this because they have a classic section. So maybe I'll pick up a different copy of this and eventually get back to reading it because I did like it. But at the same time, I didn't because it was just like not my kind of book that I like to read. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Next book is Little Bee by Chris Cleave. And I've tried reading this. It felt like they were just trying to be very, very smart with their words and trying to sound like they knew what they were talking about. And it just kind of irritated me and I was very confused the entire two pages that I tried to read. So I'm not even going to bother with the rest of it. So getting rid of that one. Next is Saving Grace. I kind of was into this when I was trying to read it for a try chapter tag with my one of my last videos. I tried reading it and it just kind of seemed like another average type of book so I wasn't going to waste my time with it and uh, yeah I don't know. Next, not a surprising one, but I'm actually getting rid of Beautiful Creatures by uh, Cami Garcia and I'm pretty happy about that because I had this on my shelf for a long time, finally tried to read it. I didn't really like it. I definitely pick the movie form of this over the book any day so next was uh is we are were liars wow by e lockhart and i tried reading this like a, two months ago maybe and i was just very confused it felt very incesty i could be taking it the wrong way but that's just kind of how i felt when i was trying to read this i think i might have done a try chapter not too sure but yeah uh -uh. next is clouds and earth by sage sadie scarlet i got this in my one depop order again from that last haul video and i ordered a bunch of books and this is just a free one that i had and i definitely have no intentions of reading this so maybe somebody else will next is eleanor and park by again rainbow row supporting her i uh, didn't want to waste the time reading this book so i got rid of all rainbow row books and yeah 
she's going. She's canceled. And lastly, which actually kind of breaks my heart that I'm getting rid of this because I got it for my birthday for my mom and I was looking forward to reading this so much, but it's just Hunger by Roxane Gay. I was very bored of it when I was listening to this on audiobook and I wasn't really reading it too much. This is like four months ago. I remember because I was reading this like the first week that I started my current job and it's been about five months now that I've been working there, which is crazy, but five months has been since I tried reading this and I DNF'd it because I was just like, I'm bored of this. It just, I don't know, it wasn't sparking any joy, basically. And it just sucks because I was loving, I was so looking forward to getting this book for my birthday and to read it and it just turned out to not be what I expected and wanted. It's just basically about like an eating disorder and you know, that's something that kind of hits close to home with me, but you know, I just, it just wasn't my cup of tea. So sadly, I am getting rid of this. So those are the few piles that I have been saving up to get rid of for a while now and I definitely accumulated more books to finally go and get rid of and that now I feel like I actually have like enough books to go get rid of and get more store credit because I think I still have some from the last time I donated a bunch of books but now we're going to go tackle this bad boy back behind me and I know a lot of the books on there are books that I actually do love but I'm just trying to like you know clean it out keep moving forward because I know there's a lot of new releases I have not been on booktube for a while like watching any videos in the last few weeks few months and I feel so bad because this book slump has just overtaken me and just being so busy has overtaken my life and so I can't do anything about it but I know there's so many new books out there and I'm gonna see if I can try and find some books out there or just whatever it may be because of that leave me some um, new releases or some books that you guys are loving right now down below in the comments so I can like try and get back up on knowing what's being released right now because I really have no clue. All I know is that Dark Dawn's being released. I don't even know what that is, but I see Boston always tweeting about it because I have her notifications on all the time. So I don't know what that's about. Um, yeah, y'all know my, my deal. So I'm gonna go film me tackling the back of this and we will talk to you, I'll talk to you guys after and sh give a whole showdown of the books that I'm getting rid of. Let's go. This is the aftermath right over here of the books I'm getting rid of, so let's dive into them. All right. So to start off, the first book that I'm getting rid of is The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger, and I'm only getting rid of it because I probably won't read it, and especially not in this copy. It's very small. I don't like this copy of books. So this is the first one I'm getting rid of. Next one I'm getting rid of is um, probably not really a surprise, but I'm surprised I'm doing it because it's been a while since I've decided to do this, but it's... Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. You guys know I really hated this book. I loved Evelyn Hugo and I miss that world so much that I kind of want to reread it. But this is the one that I'm getting rid of as well, which I'm kind of really glad about. Next is The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. Had this for a while. I'm not going to pick it up ever because it's been on my bookshelf for fucking probably a year or two. Next, Solitaire by Alice Oseman. I know I did a book video where I was going to try a chapter of it, which I did, and see if I liked it. But I tried reading it, and I did like it at the time, but I just only want to pick it back up with my current mind and state, with my book reading and stuff like that, so probably not going to end up reading this. Next, The Unbecoming of Mara, Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. I've heard many different reviews about this, but I just don't think I'm ever going to get around to it. I got a good book for like 97 cents, so I really didn't spend too much money on this, so 
Next is Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick, and I've heard many different reviews about this as well, but yeah, I just don't think I'm ever gonna get to it. It's been on my book show for a while. You know the deal. Next is I'm getting rid of all three of the A Bad Girls Don't Die novel. I had every intention of reading these because they're kind of like very like horror, haunting, ghosty kind of things, but I just haven't had them, and they're very thick, and they're just taking room up on my shelf, and they look ugly, so. Next is Tell Me Three Things by Julie Buxbaum, and I wanted to read this at first, but now I'm just like, meh, it's whatever. Next, Harry Potter and the Search for a Stone. I tried this in my try chapter, but I just don't think I'm actually going to read this. I don't really like reading Harry Potter books, and I never really tried, and it's just, I like, I would rather watch it than read it. Next is Suicide Notes from Beautiful Girls by Lynn Weingarter. I read this two years ago. It was good at the time. I'm definitely just not going to reread it because I already know what happens. It's one of those mystery books that you learn what happens at the end. If you already know it, why am I going to reread it, you know? So I read that, got my fill out of that, and now I'm getting rid of it. Next is my second copy of Little Bee, which uh, one of these my grandmother gave me, so I kind of feel bad, but she probably won't know. Sorry, Grandma. Next is We Need to Talk About Kevin by Lionel Shriver, Shriver, whatever. I bought this from Barnes & Nobles for a one of the another youtuber had like a horror read-along book thing that she was doing and i thought i was going to try and do that but that didn't turn out to happen so i'm getting rid of it lastly i'm getting rid of the fault in our stars by john green again i really don't fucking know why i have this still i think i was keeping it for memory purposes because i'm like oh fart not the fault, fault the fault in our stars really you know the fault in our stars but i'm just kind of like i'm not ever going to read it again i'd rather have books that i know i'm going to read on my shelf so that's that. So now we have a lot more room. I have another shelf that I could add a little more things down here or even down there. So I mean it wasn't a lot of books that I'm getting rid of but it's a good amount of books that I would like to get rid of and that are going to go to better homes than just sitting on a bookshelf and catching dust and stuff like that. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did give it a big like. Subscribe down below to the family and I'll see you all in my next one. Hopefully soon. Bye guys.